Hi, welcome to this Arc Linux B Plasma system. I've been working on it for several days now, and um, one of the things that I'm missing is the way to communicate with our users, and that's Discord. So Discord is not installed, and it needs to be installed pronto on this machine. So Ctrl Alt T gives us a terminal, and the terminal is called Console on Plasma. You know there are two different ways to install, you go FEA or Trizen, and that's for the AUR. So we probably would type uh, EA Discord and check it out, or Trizen. But this guy of this application is that important for our distro that if we've pre-built it already. So it's already in, in built on our system, on our repo, and it's called a third-party repo. So it's not from ours from us and not developed from us it's just built here which means it's faster than um, actually building it via AOR or number two it means that I can do sudo pacman minus uh, s and then discord and it just downloaded unpacked etc so there we go we are going to quickly install discord all you need to do is then make an uh, account. And then you can come and join us on Discord as the way to communicate with each other. So I'm gonna make, of, uh, make sure that my email is in here, my password is in here, login. So here is your register uh, account and what you need to know as well is if you want to join the Discord community here, let's close other tabs. Then you go to arcolinux.info and in here we have the most important page or one of the important pages is the first one on Arcolinux, editions. And if you scroll all the way down or you do control F and then Discord, you'll get the invite. You can come and join us if you, via this link. So that's the link you're gonna need as well if once you have an account. So let me uh, do everything like that. So login, password, all right, pausing. So once you're logged in, you'll see that you have here this icon, Arc Linux icon, and then there are different channels, so text channels, channel discussion, suggestion, bug reporting, and for the Plasma challenge, we've made one new challenge. So everything that concerns the, the Plasma challenge, you can get it in here. Post it in here, ask it in here. All right, that's uh, Discord for you. It's installed now, maybe and probably, it will not launch out of the box. Meaning if you shut down your computer and tomorrow you uh, launch it back up, then it's probably not gonna launch. Pretty sure about it, but we could check if we don't uh, know for sure. There is a super important folder, config auto start. Anything that's in here will be auto started. And we've made already tutorials about how to auto start applications. And this one is what we've done. And this one is what we've done. So let's make another one for Discord. So repeating the same theory or the same practice exercise how do you auto start Discord? So I want it to be there at the moment I boot. So start up, auto start, add a program, Discord. This time the application does exist. It means that it's in user share applications. There is a discord.desktop file and then it's here. In the other applications we've done so far, it was just an actual command we had to type in. So this will work just fine. Just check out the rest, but everything will be okay. It's interesting to know that it's in the opts folder. That's something to keep track of, to remember, and that's it. Next time, Discord will be enabled at startup. So super, there is no apply or save in this case. So sometimes we have to apply somewhere down here, sometimes also to the left. So keep track of that where it's needed then you click on it. So there it is, Discord is here. 
it's active we can uh, relaunch it if we want and we'll be auto starting discord at every boot all right have fun and welcome to join on discord